Hello and welcome to 2130 with Dr. Gardner. My name is Cheryl Mullis and today I will be giving you some tips on how to survive in Dr. G's class. Rule number one, be on time, always, and always show up too. Because you will be a teacher one day and you will always have to show up and always be on time. But not just on time like at the time of the said class, always be there at least 30 minutes early or more if you're feeling, you know, extra. But um, I will say you will never ever beat Dr. G when it cuts to attendance because he's always there three hours early because, you know, whatever. Um, also, number two, post every, every single day on Edmodo. Trust me, that is your grade, man. So I'm talking like daily double challenge on Edmodo. Go ahead and stack up them posts and no one can touch you. Um, and it doesn't matter what you talk about either. Talk about um, how beautiful it is outside, uh, how you love corn dogs in the summer. I don't know. Um, also, number three, do not procrastinate like me. Night before making this video, day one, you watch these videos. You know it's going to happen. What am I doing? It's finals week. Um, also, so just don't do that. Just do your, do your, man, do it. Um, also, number four, be willing to be, to open up. Open up. This is a class and you're going to learn a lot about people, especially on Edmodo. You're also going to, like, meet the most amazing people in your class. Go ahead and look around. Look around. You're going to make amazing friends in this class. Um, but be willing to open up and participate. I am extra AF, so this class was amazing for me. But now I know that there's some people that aren't wanting to participate as much, and that is A-okay. But I can see where you will kind of struggle in this class. Um, so be willing to open up. Get yourself out there. Speak up because the DAP is at the end, and this class is getting you nothing but ready for it. Um, also, number, oh, I did number five. Number six, uh, be nice to your peer group and hang out with them. They're probably really cool people. Um, but be nice to them because they are grading you this entire semester. They're always watching you, no matter what. Every single time you pick up your phone, you're talking to somebody else, with Dr. G's talking, people are watching, and they're watching you on Edmodo. Uh, so, yeah, be nice to them because they're grading you. Dr. G has a little say, but they're mainly doing it for you. Um, number seven, uh, attitude, disp disp disposition, ugh, words, um, come in with a great attitude every day, even if you're having an awful day, just leave that crap at the door, and just tell yourself, today's gonna be a great day, and you know what, it might just flip, turn upside down, and turn into a great day on you, because as going to be teachers one day, things are gonna happen, but you're not going to be able to show it in front of your students or let them have that over you. Um, unless you're, I don't know, whatever. Uh, number eight, I'm going to talk about modules now. Modules, I did the teaching retreat. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you are on the fence about teaching, I was. Um, if you're on the fence about it, not sure if this is really for you, I highly suggest you do it. Um, it might, it's, it's terrifying and it's so rewarding all at the same time. Um, Ooh, it gives you different scenarios, which you're probably going to see on the daily, but it was so incredible. It was just an amazing experience. And if you don't do it, then I highly suggest that you go to the retreats because they are a lot of fun, and then you get to hang out with some of the best people in the world as well. Um, also, uh, I did the Living History, which is so much fun. If you like history or if you um, are like me and outgoing, um, then I highly suggest it. Or if you're not, just do it because it's fun. Uh, but it's pretty much you get to dress up like a character in a different time or whatever and you go into classrooms and you teach children in a different perspective. That's what I really love about this class is because it's so hands-on and it's amazing. Uh, and you, the kids really, they really enjoy it because they're learning something in a whole different light and a whole different perspective and it's just so rewarding at the end. Um, so that was fun. Uh, I also did not do the bike trip but golly I wish I did it looked like so much fun I got sick it wasn't fun for me um, and also number let's just say 10 because I don't know where I'm at anymore I'm probably nine who will who knows on the days that dr. G is going to treat to you if you are empath like me or just super over emotional um, bring tissues because his treating is more like gut wrenching grab you by the heart squeeze it a little bit and make you sob it's, it's great. It's absolutely great. I'm so happy 
for you to be in this class. And it's okay if, I know when I first watched these videos, they were very intimidating, number one, back to one again. Um, they were very intimidating and they actually made my anxiety go even higher because I kept seeing all these people very happy and um, they said that they were going to make all these friends and I thought, Jesus, I I don't know, that's... It was a lot, it seems like it's a lot, but I'm really happy that I am one of those people and I really enjoyed this class and you are too. And I'm so excited for you. Um, I'm talking too much. Bye.